friends welcome back in speaking session in today topic we will talk about methods of communication in last lectures we discussed about communication and different types of communication importance of communication and other things related to communication you know that communication is very important in your life if your communication is good you can compete anyone you can beat anyone and you can become a good speaker and you can become a good debater if your communication is good communication is not only used in your student life but also in your practically life it is very obligatory and you should keep in mind when you will go for your practically life then you can easily realize the importance of communication so for the sake of getting knowledge for the sake of improving yourself for the sake of become a good businessman for the sake of become good presenters and if you want to give a good presentation then your communication should be good if your communication will be good you can go anywhere and you can talk with anyone without any problem so if there will be flaws in your communication then you have to face consequences of your communication so for the sake of improving yourself for the sake of enhancing your abilities for the thinking of creating new ideas your communication should be good today we will talk about methods of communication so you know that there are so many methods which can be used for our communication but today i will just talk about five methods that can help you when you will try to communicate someone then it can be helpful for you in your conversation so let's start about five different topics five different points that can help you when you are trying to communicate with someone so let's start first one is face to face communication you know that face to face communication is very obligatory it's very important and you can deliver your message with anybody uh, without any delaying your time if you want to convey your message to anyone in the world then face to face communication is very better like in face to face communication you can live talk with someone you can live exchange your ideas your messages your information without delaying your activities so it is very important and it is very useful for your current scenario for your consistency face to face communication is very important because if you will meet someone face to face you can deliver anything to anyone without uh, waiting patiently anybody in this world so face to face communication is very uh, obligatory it's very important and it is very uh, useful in your conversation so if you want to improve yourself you want to improve your communication according to me you should use face to face communication because in face to face communication there is a no delay and you can live talk with someone and if you will meet someone in live then you can understand his weaknesses his strengths all the things you want in your life you can easily understand all the things so according to me according to perception there will be face to face communication and second one is telephone telephone is also method it is also tool of communication you can use it in different scenario in different perspective if you will use if you will use telephone for your communication then you can convey your message urgently without delaying without waiting of someone if you receive any thing from your supervisor from your boss then you can easily deliver to someone without waiting someone so you will use telephone then it is very useful method for communication through telephone you know that these days you can use uh, whatsapp emo and there are many other source of communication if you will agree upon it if you will if you will uh, try to indulge yourself telephonically 
and you can easily convey your message so it is also good method it is also good way if you want to improve your communication if you want to deliver your message without any delaying then you should use telephone uh, in your communication and third one is public speech public speech is also very important you will try to convey your message to anybody then you should try to convey your ideas in the shape of speech like if you go somewhere if you are a presenter if you are working as a presenter if you have to present yourself in any company then your speech matter that what kind of things you want to deliver to anyone so for the sake of delivering good message for the sake of delivering your all the information to your customers to your co-workers to your workers all the subordinate that are the part of your life that are the part of your company you should use this method for communication and fourth one is interview interview is very useful tool and it is very good method and modes for communication because when you are getting information through interview then there will be two persons interviewers and interviews so they are the two person through your ideas can be exchanged like uh, if you want to deliver your message if you want to hire someone for your company then what you have to do you should use this way of communication like through this you can easily judge other person you can judge his mentality his weaknesses his strength his abilities his qualification his experience all the things can be judged through uh, interview uh, method through interview you can judge easily you can check his confidence you can so it is also very good method it is also very good mode for communication and fifth one is meeting uh, meeting is also source of communication meeting is also way of exchanging your ideas exchanging your thoughts uh, you can convey your uh, all the things that you want to deliver if you are working in any company if you are running business then it is also very useful tool for your communication if you will meet someone you can understand him and if other one he or she is weak uh, for your conversation and he is not understanding you maybe when you are trying to talk with him he show his uh, weaknesses he showing something different according to your perspective then what you have to do then you have to deliver your message face to face then you have to deliver your communication through oral method because it is very useful other one is uh, in difficult situation other one is complex situation then uh, they can uh, ask a question from you they can ask a, ask some kind of problem they are facing when you are trying to converse someone so it is also way of communication you should utilize in your conversation and last one is presentation it is very important and it is a key role in your presentation as well like uh, if you go for your company and uh, you have to appointed as a presenter any company then what you have to do you just give that kind of information that is that can create easiness for company so you should deliver that kind of message that is assigned from your supervisor that is assigned from company that is prescribed in rules and regulations of companies and maybe it will be in the ordinance of uh, this company if you will give that kind of message maybe you will urge the people you will convince the people of customers can motivate it through your presentation and there are many ways you can present you can use a laptop as well as you can use some points you can write down after this when you are presenting yourself then you should use for as a clips as a clue when you are trying to deliver your message so it is also very good mode it is also very helpful and uh, useful tool for your communication so all the tools all the methods we prescribed in this lecture uh, it is very useful and it is very helpful for your communication because you know that communication uh, matters in your company as well as in your student life in your practically life in your running life so if your communication will be good you can deliver anything from your side you can 
give your suggestions you can motivate and all the things can be done through your communication if your communication will be good definitely people seek so many things from you people learn so many things from your talking from your speech from your presentation because this is all the tools that are used for your communication if you will use oral communication i think it is very useful and it is live conversation you can conversate live with anybody if maybe seminar maybe it it can be conferences but it if it will be in a uh, live session it will be face to face it will be in oral then uh, it can create very soon impact on your customer as well as on your workers all the subordinate they that are the part of your company so hope so you understand this oral communication and you should utilize oral communication in your conversation as well as in your business life so all the method all the tools we described in this lecture you should understand it and you should utilize all the methods for your communication skills